DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Welcome back to another glorious episode of Noted, your personal walking, talking, flavor reviews. My name is Emily Olson, known as Mel Nikon, and let's say hello to my other co-host. We've got ID10T tonight. How are you doing? I feel kind of sad because Jared Clark just said in the chat, like Chiba Steba. Aww, he would love that. Unfortunately, Chiba's not here tonight. He would have absolutely loved that, and he's not here. So. You would have made him giggle. We love it when Chiba giggles. <laughs> yeah, he would have got a bad case of the giggles from that one. <laughs> no, I'm all right. That. Oh, go ahead. I'm all right. We're all right. Jesse's here. Yeah, Jesse's back again. How's everybody How doing tonight? Otherwise, we would have no show. It would just be the two of us, and nobody wants to hear or listen. Or nobody wants that. No. no. Nobody wants that. I don't know how much I agree with that assessment. Um, you know what? It struck me while trying these lychee flavors. It's pretty similar to what we did last week. Mm -hmm. The dragon fruits are all like, not all, but for the most part, they follow a similar like theme where there's a little floral on top. Yeah. And then there's fruit underneath. And the floral was almost all kind of a not really dead on hibiscus, but it tastes kind of like like kind of like a hibiscus. And uh -huh. then this week the floral is kind of tastes like a rose, kind of rosy. And then what's underneath is kind of like a grape. Whereas the yes. dragon fruit was kind of like a like a chilled out, calmed down pineapple. So it's yep. kind of the same sort of situation where it's sort of a floral. People are saying, what does lychee taste like anyway? Uh, lychee or lychee, I think you could say it either way all in the chat, but they all say, kind of taste like you can say lychee. either one. They're both they're both valid. You oh. can say it lychee or lychee, and you can spell it l y c h e e or l i t c h i e or I mean not l i t c h i. Either way. Okay. I'll probably switch back and forth all night just to satisfy everyone. Just keep it fun for you. <laughs> yeah. Keep it on your toes. Yeah, but it's kind of the only uh, the only ways I've ever had it. I've never had a fresh one. Um, I don't even know where to get one of those. I've never seen one, but I've had them in a can with syrup, which is amazing. And I've had them, and I've had candy flavored, lychee flavored candy and yeah. lychee flavored, um, boba drink, slushy, basically with the oh, boba in there. flavored candy. Was it a Bigfoot by any chance? Like a kind of a red gummy in the shape of a foot? No, it was just a little white, um, round hard candy. Okay. Like like a mint, like a star, like a starlight mint, but smaller and just okay. and kind of a clearish white color. Not. And I've never, I haven't had anything lychee. No, I haven't had the fruit. I haven't had candy. I've not had nothing flavored lychee. So this is my first foray into the flavor of lychee. Oh, so yeah. you were like, what the hell is this? Yes, <laughs> I was. I was unpleasantly surprised. <laughs> it just says lychee. It's not. It's not lychee. Lychee. It's not milk. I'm not talking about milk here, man. We're talking about a fruit that tastes kind of like a rose mixed with a grape and sometimes a pear. Yeah. Does that does that sound about right? That sounds that sounds accurate. Mm -hmm. And it looks like like a white grape, by the way. Very much white grape. It's like difference between a red grape and a white grape and this is like just that difference <laughs> that's how much like a grape it, it is it looks like a prickly berry right like yeah it's on the thumbnails any it's is that bumpy it's red and bumpy but then you just pop the peel the outer peel off and it looks like a large white grape with like lobes or kind of like a weird eyeball or something and then it's got a big nasty the fruit's got a big nasty seed in the middle but 
the ones I get canned or have the seeds cut out already. Oh, look at Full Car pulling up a picture for us. Thanks, bud. Did he do that? Oh, there we That's go. Yeah, awesome. you can't eat that seed. Yeah, look at that seed. That's huge. Yeah, it's a big nasty seed. That's a, it's that outer part that looks like a strawberry. I think I've never touched one, obviously, but I think it's kind of leathery based on the way it comes off. Have you ever had one, Jesse? Uh, I haven't had like a, a real one. I've had two different types of candies. I've had the the gummy candies, um, and I've had the the hard candies. And the hard candies were what made me like fall in love with the idea of the flavor. Oh, I've had those gummies too. I had the ones from Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've had those. So you love the idea of the lychee, but you've never had a, the actual yeah, I, fruit. I, I wish I'd gotten to gotten to track a couple of down, but this this last week's just been crazy hectic. So every attempt to get to the Asian market did not happen. Ah, uh, it happens. Do you eat the skin? No, you pull the skin off. You don't eat the skin or the seed. You just eat the clearish looking white stuff. It's a lot of work for a little bit of food because you have to pull the seed, the skin I, off and then eat the inside. And then the seed is like half the bit of the fruit, it looks like. Uh, have you have you ever eaten like fresh pomegranate? Because that's got to be an order of magnitude more work. Yeah. yeah true. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's so good. Lychee is not worth it. <laughs> um, says I have you. to agree to disagree there. All yeah, right. says you. Says you, but um, I tried some flavors. I don't know. I think like eleven of them. I didn't have time to mix up any recipes. Even if I had, I would have had tried had uh, time to try them because I fell down a flight of stairs on Friday and was all messed up for a day and a half. Um, but I did try like eleven different flavors, and I did try to rank them. So should I just dive in there? I know you guys have some flavors that I don't. And so you yeah. might want to just jump Let's in. Go ahead and yeah, start from the worst. And if I've got one that you don't that I think should go somewhere in that list, I'll try to just jump in and insert it. All right. If you think okay. that I, if yeah, if you think that I'm I've passed where you would have put something, then just stop me. Okay. Um, the one that I have, the worst one I tried was um, Hankson's lychee. Oh. Um, I would think that that would be something that they might do well, like an Asian fruit thing. <laughs> you think so? It's like uh, moldy Welch's white grape juice. Is that filtered, racist? <laughs> filtered through dryer sheets, probably a little bit. Everyone's a little oh. bit racist. Um, no, but it's for real, it's a it's a flavoring company from China. It's an Asian fruit. It seems like they would do. It seems like they would not make something that tastes like moldy white grape juice filtered through dryer sheets. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that that actively sounds worse than the worst one I tried. It is. It yeah, is. The I'm thing like, is, it's identifiable as a lychee flavor, but at the same time, just all kinds of horrible. Like wow. where there's sh where it should have a little bit of that funky tropical ripeness that sort of identifies this. This is a tropical fruit. It tastes like rot, um, like mold, rot, nasty, old, gross. They were trying then, to go for ripe, and they just went way too far. Yeah, exactly. And then there should be like a subtle sort of rosy floral, and instead it's like a whole mouthful of laundry room. Um, it did have this sort of this, a sweet and like a deep, thick body but there should be like a little citrusy tartness there. And instead this tastes like the same kind of citrusy note that's in, in a wear cactus. So if you can imagine that in with the other yuckiness, it's just not right. And a disproportionate amount of harshness on top of all of that. Like mm. just the whole thing is just a dumpster fire of a flavor. Yeah. That's um, when, when companies are trying to go for something, it's a little tart and bitey. They like just, they go too far and it's just harsh and, and astringent and not I do have to say it might be a concentration issue because I only tried it at 1%. Um, I didn't try it any lower. And so maybe less is works and this is just blowing it out at 1%, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to try to find out because it was awful. 
I just wanted to get that wick out of there and get it yeah. replaced. I don't want to do that again. Like grape juice, <laughs> dryer sheets. Yeah, no, but it could it could be something that works lower down, and this is just a blown out, disgusting mess of a flavor when I mixed up at one percent. Oh no. Um, the next one I had, uh, Leilani sent me some, um, weird flavors, <laughs> some, some hard to obtain flavors, you know, like she does. Yeah. And she drew, and she drew those awesome little pictures on there. See, this is the, let me show you. Can you see the Hankson? Oh yeah. He is such a great artist. He is. Um, so she drew those cute little pictures on there for me. She, she was the source of the Hankston lychee because that, that one's not easy to come by. And also she sent me a couple of Amaretti flavors. You ever heard of Amaretti? No, I've no. never heard of that brand. I heard it a long time ago because I used to be searching for a cookie butter flavor. And oh. somebody said that, that Amaretti actually did it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I meant to get my hands on that cookie butter of theirs and find out if it's actually cookie butter, but I, ne haven't, I never got around to it. You have to order it directly from them, and it's a pain in the ass. No resellers sell it. Some of their flavors that are water-soluble aren't even safe to vape. So, oh, yeah, there's stuff in there that there shouldn't be, some of them. So you have to, like, check the ingredients list and make sure it's okay. Uh, it's really just not a vape-friendly flavoring company, you know? Um, yeah, but, but if you're looking for something off the wall and you can't seem to find it anywhere else, there's a chance they'll have it. They have a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, the Amaretti lychee that she, she sent me was a BG based flavor. Oh. And not all of them are, it's, it's back and forth. Um, anyway, 4% was not enough for a single flavor or a week wasn't a long enough steep for it. Uh, I don't know which, maybe both. Maybe it needs to be higher and steep longer. Um, VG flavors often do. But I don't want to try it higher <laughs> or steep it longer because even with the light amount of flavor there, there's this like savory, almost meaty hint to it. Like, mm. and it even has like an oily mouthfeel. Ew. So, yeah, so I was like, um, like a floral, lightly floral sort of grapey fruit, you know, like it should be, but then lightly spritzed with hot dog sweat. That's not a and flavor that you want to have an oily mouthfeel for. No, you don't want your fruit to have an oily mouthfeel, and you definitely, it, it, <laughs> anytime, the, anytime the words hot dog sweat come to mind <laughs> when you're trying to describe the flavor, it's probably not good, and that oh. maybe it's Maybe it's possible that that steeps out or gets overtaken by like this super great lychee flavor at a higher concentration. I just don't have a great hope for that and don't really ever plan on trying that flavor ever again. I, I couldn't possibly see being brave enough to keep trying that until it was good. <laughs> I've done that before, but I, I guess I'm getting less patient with these flavors in my, in my old age. I mean, what's the success rate on that? kind of thing it can't be pretty good. low no it's pretty low like maybe if i just cream it this flavor is terrible it tastes like hot dog sweat maybe if i double it, it'll work <laughs> <Pretty stupid. laughs> just just more hot dog sweat right yeah no it does taste like a like a lychee just like tea with hot dog sweat um so yeah I went, I, there's just some another sort of uh Oh, the other Amaretti. That's the one. I don't know that I would call this third from the bottom in terms of flavor. I've actually got it in here right now. I'm enjoying it, but it doesn't belong with this week. Um, it's Amaretti Guarana, which um, Guarana is like, Guarana is like a, it's in energy drinks. That's where you always see it. But it's not the fruit itself that's in the energy drinks. It's an extract from the seeds. And they have twice as much caffeine as coffee. Really? But they also, it's also that seed is like, it's a, it's a lychee looking fruit. And there's fruit around that seed. 
And I didn't know if this flavor was supposed to be the fruit or if it was supposed to be the extract, which would supposedly be pretty bitter or maybe a drink with made with the extract, like an energy drink. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I know that this plant, this, this fruit is in the, the lychee family and looks just like lychee. So like, well, all right, we'll just try that. And it is a PG based flavor. And I also tried it at 4%. It's really interesting. Just a very unique flavor that kind of is like, Drinking a mixture of cola and apple juice while chewing pink bubble gum. Well, that's interesting. I have not ever had anything quite like it. It's like a little bit tart, citrusy, kind of spicy at first. Not really spicy, but like spicy in the same way that Coca-Cola is spicy. And then it's got yeah. this really deep, caramelly, sweet flavor under that with some apple, apple kind of fruitiness. Interesting. Along with the bubble gum taste and then a really smooth finish. I it's the well, weirdest that's so thing. Low on the list though. It, that kind of sounds good. It, yeah, it does sound good because we were talking about we were talking about um lychee and it's not anywhere. Oh, okay. It's not even the same family as lychee. So it's really not on the list. It's just I had two amaretti flavors in my entire collection of flavors, so I thought I would cover one and then the other real quick. No. No more Amaretti. We're talking about those guys. Well, I have a flavor that I think belongs pretty low on the list. Unless you have Amaretti. I don't have Amaretti, no. Okay. Uh, it's another flavor that I don't think you've tried, but it would be, I've only, ha I think I only have five lychee flavors, but it's definitely the worst of mine. Um, and it's Vape Train lychee. I guess I lucked out because I don't have that one. Um. Format, have you tried this one? No, no, that's a, apparently a bullet I dodged. Okay, yeah. Um, and like I said, you know, take this with a grain of salt because I've never had light, you know, the real lychee, like I said before. So it may be very accurate, but to me it is extremely floral and perfumey. There wasn't any slight like, sweetness. Like all these had floral elements, okay? But most of them had some kind of sweetness to balance that out. This didn't have any sweetness to me at all. And it was very bright and very harsh and like bitey. It reminded me a lot of like a cleaning product, like Mr. Clean, like counter cleaner in the kitchen. That's repulsive. Just, yeah. That sounds really bad. It wasn't good. That may even be worse than the hot dog water, hot dog sweat <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I tried some health cabin. I'm okay. going to call this one lychee because they spelled it L I T C H I. Um, but I, there might be a sweet spot somewhere between one and 2% with this one, or maybe even lower than 1% in some weird way. But I, I wasn't satisfied with the really light amount of flavor that I was getting from it at one. So I bumped it up to a little over two. And what I got at 2% was white grape jelly, just mm -hmm. thoroughly mixed with a, kind of a, a slightly chemical, uh, perfumey sort of hairspray-ish floral. But not like Aquanet hairspray, like the kind in the squirt bottle, not the aerosol. Oh. And it's, the one thing that sets it apart from the way that the others vape the other ones all seem to have like they lead with the floral and then finish fruitier. And this one on, was like pretty consistent throughout the exhale, which was different and kind of neat. But I wish it had one with a floral note that was more natural tasting and less hairspray because I don't like that. <laughs> hairspray yeah. not no, no, that's and pretty. Health Cabin tends to be pretty strong flavor. So I thought at 1%, okay, this is how much is this is going to be a good a fair amount to try it at and it really wasn't that flavorful and then two is that so uh, maybe not with the health cabin yeah there could be something to that flavor in there somewhere though if somebody told me they found a way to what percentage did you mix it at 
one and then slightly over two. What I did was I mixed it a ten, mixed up a 10 milliliter at 1%. And then when I was like, this flavor is too light. So that I added what would have been uh, 1% more if it was still 10 milliliters. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I added like three and a half drops and then that didn't work. So three and a half more drops and it wasn't, I wasn't hitting it. Maybe it needed a steep instead of, because the second time was shake and vape. And it was chemically, and sometimes that's a thing that can steep out. So if somebody were to tell me that they they use this flavor in something awesome, and I got to try their recipe, I, I wouldn't disbelieve them, you know, out of hand. So it wasn't that terrible, but by itself at two percent ish, it was pretty hairspray ish. Uh. Yeah, I only I only really had one flavor that hit that hairspray note for me. So I feel like I I feel like I missed all of the uh, like truly bad ones this week. Yeah. yeah. Well, you like lychee anyway, though. Like, I'm glad you're here so that I can make fun of you for liking that flavor. <laughs> you have two recipes that you've made with like, like, this is your flavor. And I don't know how anyone can like, like, purposefully use this flavor in a mix and be like, I love it. As it, as it goes up the list, I love it more and more. So, like, actually, yeah, actually, three, but one of them is still private. Like, who goes, like, this mix is really good, but you know what? It could use some lychee. That, uh, that one that's still private, are you talking about the pod recipe, Jesse? Yeah, yeah. That one needs a different lime, I think. I, I could see that. I, I, like, I like the interplay between the two uh, as it stands, but I could see trying to sharpen it up a little bit or uh, leaning really toward the sweet side of it. That's in, what I was thinking, like direction. a more candier lime. Yeah. Maybe even a use for that flavora lime if you have it and can find it, dial it in just right because one tiny bit over and it's going to be Windex. Now, I I happily or unhappily perhaps don't have that one, but I've oh, got a huge... Like, I like it. You like the... Yeah, it's not a bad flavor. It's just not an easy flavor to work with. Sure. It's, it's a. It tastes like lime jello. I mean, if you don't overdo it. Well, I do like lime jello. It's, um, it's the closest to inner lime. Yeah, probably. Sadly, though, because it's not the same thing. Um, I tried something called Longan, which is people... The brand? No, no, the brand is Hankson. Longan is another lychee-esque fruit. Um... From what I read, it's supposed to taste like uh, like a muskier lychee. That's the best I could tell from a quick Googling. It's okay. long. L-O-N-G-A-N. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is a real art, Pull up a picture of that. This is a real thing like that grows in the wild. L O N G A N. It's a real fruit. I, I think I think folk art's frantically looking for a picture of it right now. <laughs> I don't know if he is or not. I don't need to pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real fruit, um, and there is actually a flavor for it. Actually, there are a couple of companies that have flavors for it, but they're all fairly obscure. And the one that's the most sort of ubiquitous as far as flavor companies is Hankson. So I got the Hanks and Longin. It's another one of those things that um, Leilani sent me. It's got a cute little picture on it. Um, it's a better, it's better lychee than Hanks and lychee, but kind of weird. Like I said, I tried Googling it because I don't, I never heard of the damn thing before. It's supposed to taste in real life like a muskier lychee, but it actually tastes like a lychee plus almond syrup. It looks like a walnut on the outside. Like, interesting. It does look kind of like a walnut on the outside, but the inside's got that same sort of white grape eyeball yeah. jelly fruit. And it's musky. It's supposed to be a muskier type of lychee, but this particular flavor by Hankson tastes like it's like lychee with almond syrup. Interesting. So it's it's kind of weird, but I kind of like it too. Um, I Who feel like if you, it's wonderful fresh. She's had it. Who's had it? 
Goose Girl. Goose Girl says wonderful fresh. Yeah. Is it is does it taste like a musky or lychee flesh? Is there uh, fresh? Is there a reason why it would taste like almond in a flavor? Because it makes no sense to me. No noted long an episode. I don't know. Anyway, it does taste like that, which kind of like I don't know what to do with it yeah, except. I, it sounds awful to me as well. No, it's got. I mean, it's got that rosy floral that up uh, front that I think is your is your issue with the with the lychee. Um, yeah. But it's sweet and syrupy overall. The syrup part just tastes like almond syrup, and mm -hmm. it, you could. It, I think that if you had some booze and some orange, you could turn this into a Mai Tai. But because those usually have almond syrup and um, sometimes have rose water in them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, one on one already has a Mai Tai flavor that just needs a booze if you want that. So other than that, I don't know what to do with long in. It's not gross, though. Oh, you should make it your long. mission to figure it out. <laughs> figure out Longin. I also have this one tiny little bottle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it before that's gone. <laughs> that, that, that tough. Yeah. I mean, again, I could make a Mai Tai out of it pretty easily. And I don't know authentically, but there's already a flavor that would make that even easier. So why do I, why jump right. through that hoop? Yeah. Um, All right. Let's go to the next one. What what else is on your list? Hylic red lychee. Hylic. Wow, you're digging deep. Digging deep. I missed some like common ones like vape train and flavor west, but I got hylic. <laughs> <laughs> it does not taste like a lychee. There's a little bit of that fruity tartness in there, but for the most part, it it tastes. You know, the closest flavor that I've had to the High Lake Red Lychee is um, Hanks and Watermelon. Really? Did you try Hanks and Watermelon? No. Hanks and Watermelon, it says watermelon on the bottle, but the flavor itself just bizarrely tastes a whole lot more like sweetened rose water than watermelon. Oh. And that is, that does not sound <laughs> particularly <laughs> useful honestly that's just bizarre right i don't know there are a lot of dishes and desserts and things that use rose water and cocktails and stuff sure someone can actually make an accurate baklava now maybe when people have asked me if is there a rose water flavor or what's a, what rose can i change into rose water to make uh to baklava or whatever because they're greek or turkish or whatever i would tell them skip that get hanks and watermelon it tastes just like rose water i know i sound like a crazy person right now but i'm not that's what it tastes like just ignore the watermelon on the bottle anyway the red lychee by high lake tastes like hanks and watermelon so it tastes like sweetened rose water it's not really offensive unless you just can't stand that taste does it have but any like the fruity kind of tartness to it just a little bit just a tiny little bit it's really the only difference between this and between red lychee and Hanks and watermelon. Just a little tiny bit of fruity tartness. Um, it's just not what I was expecting at all. And the worst thing is the bottle. You smell the bottle itself. It tastes, it smells as much like lychee as any of the other lychee flavors. Maybe a little bit more berry-like, but other than that, very, you know, as it should. And then you go to mix it up and vape it and it just tastes like rose water. Just a hint of like a sweet tart fruitiness, but basically rose water. Weird. Huh. Uh, that is at 4%, and I didn't tinker around with the concentration after that. I was just like, there's no fruit in here. It just tastes like rose water. So weird. Um, so that's uh, all of my obscure flavors. They're all at the bottom. Sometimes it doesn't pay to just to go crazy looking at all kinds of weird brands. For, sometimes the reason why the more commonly used brands, there's a reason why they're more yeah, common. I was going to say, there's a reason why. <laughs> there's a reason why these are the brands we know and not those other crazy. They're, not that there aren't hidden gems everywhere. Yes, sometimes, very, very few times you can find a hidden gem, but not most of the time it's just garbage. 
Well, unless you count that guarana, which doesn't even taste like lychee. <laughs> I didn't find it. hidden gems here. Um, at the bottom of the more common flavors, I put flavor art. Flavor yeah, that art. was that was my my least favorite by a, a fair bit. Good. I'm glad I'm not alone. Is it because it's stupid floral and the floral kind of tastes like dryer sheets and it's also a little bit thin and kind of dry? Yeah, I, my my notes begin with, is this Aquanet? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. It's not as hairspray as the other one that tastes like hairspray. I, I think it's it might just be because it was overwhelming compared to the other seven I tried. Yeah. And it just like that's what jumped out to me is like I I tried to make sure that I didn't vape any of them too close together in terms of uh, letting the, the floral notes and stuff like that blend from one uh, you know one minute to the next the, you know fatiguing your palate just kind of swapping from one to the next and one to the next without something to cleanse you in between and then just that one just crushed everything from the floral aspect. Did you how did you? use too much of it i don't know i i mean i only used it at two percent i don't think that's massively overwhelming but it it just it, it was pervasive like from start to finish it had a floral tent like a, a floral edge that just wouldn't go away and it, it buried the fruit yeah This it's one percent is more than enough flavor, so you might not have gotten quite so much hairspray if you'd gone a little lower. Gotcha. But, um, yeah. I had I I tried a recipe where this um, reinforced another lychee at um, a quarter of a percent is all they used, and the recipe itself was fine. Um, but I kind of griped at the creator because I was like, why are you putting something out that encourages people to have to buy this, which is something <laughs> that no one should have to do. You know what I mean? Like, I know your recipe is good. I like it. It's good. It's good stuff, but it's kind of irresponsible to sell flavor art lychee to people. <laughs> to to what sell it to something valuable. When what the hell else? What the hell else are they going to do with it besides make your one recipe? Because it's, I don't know, maybe this is what real fresh lychee tastes like. I told you I've never had it before, but I hope not. <laughs> uh, the floral's rough. Base should taste like white grapes with maybe hints of grapefruit. The tartness is kind of grapefruit-like. And pear. Sometimes I think they taste like pear. But this, it's this one tastes more like grape skins without the sweeter, sort of more mellow, juicier bottle uh, body to it. And then that floral on top is just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. Yeah, it was It was definitely just, to me, it, it was pervasive. It, it, it didn't really let go to the actual fruit. It was just, it was there start to finish and you didn't get any fruit body for me until like the very tail end of it and it wasn't and then it's just like a little bit of grape skin it's not a full juicy fruit body yeah it, it was neither sweet enough to really help sell the other aspect of it nor uh strong enough to help kind of balance it out yeah it's a dumpster fire flavor i'm not a fan you know pippa must be floral blind or something because first she said Vaporine wasn't that bad. Now she's saying F.A. Light, she just needs support with the F.A. Pair. Um, maybe like half a percent of lychee and one percent pear would be a good lychee flavor. Maybe a little bit of that white grape. Fill it out more. You could build a good lychee out of it, I think. And like I said, I had that one recipe where it was in there at a quarter and that recipe was great. So I still don't. It's not a good flavor. It's not a good, it's not easy to work with at all. No, I, I think when when you're face down with seeing how many are actually better than it, it makes how unpalatable it can be more difficult. 
it's not as bad until you sit down and compare it to all these other ones. Right. That's that's what I mean. Like like when you're staring down a list of flavors that are actually palatable just right off the rip, it makes it much harder to stomach the way this one works. Right. Well, I put, um, and I think you guys might disagree with me, both of you probably, but I put uh, Flavora Lychee next. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with you. You it, know, the it floral. Needs to go way higher. I like this flavor a lot. The floral is, besides it's a little stronger than it should be, I mean, it, it, it hits you right off the rip and it comes, I mean, it comes out swinging, or at least it does me. It's like, oh, that's a flower. Um, and I like it. I, I enjoy it, but I also like florals. And that just does not taste like something who doesn't like florals could enjoy, uh, which isn't necessarily true of the other lychees, I think. See, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not really a big but you're not, But you're not big into florals and you say you do like it. So it sounds like I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I, and it could have been because I tried it like right off the tail of vape train. But <laughs> you're like, oh, this is so much better. To me, it was a lot more mellow, and it had like a nice sweetness to it, and it was almost, it almost had like a vanilla note to it. It reminded me a lot like um, the bubbles, the tapioca, and like bubble tea, hmm. kind of. Yeah, so, I, I would try it again because I don't remember anything like vanilla, and I'm usually the first to call out that. I, I wish I had gotten more sweetness from it. Uh, for me, it, it felt like a little more tart than a lot of the other ones, and I like that's not a bad thing, really, because it, it helped sell that it wasn't like the, the super syrupy canned version of the fruit, mm -hmm. but it was definitely more floral than a lot of the other ones. Um, but in probably a, a fairly agreeable way for something that's yes. that floral. It was floral, but it was pleasant. Well, okay, I agree with that. I my assumption was that people who don't like florals wouldn't wouldn't be able to enjoy it because it's so much floral. Also, the floral is off. I don't know if you if it's maybe more accurate to like a fresh lychee, but the canned ones that I've had, the canned ones in syrup, the floral note that's in there tastes like rose or like rose water kind of it like a mellower rose not like shoving a whole rose in your face but this is more like some kind of mutant rose elderflower thing like it's it's got a sort of elderflower quality to it which is enjoyable for me but it doesn't it's not right shouldn't taste like that huh my wick is busy with the amaretti Corona, so I'm just gonna smell it. Yeah, you, I can smell elderflower in there, and that shouldn't shouldn't smell like that. Maybe I stored it right next to my Flavora elderflower, and some of it like snuck out and got in the wrong bottle. I just tasted some, licked it. Yeah, elderflower. In fact, it tastes a lot like Flavora elderflower, and shouldn't. Are you playing in the chat, Emily? Yeah. It looked like you were playing in the chat. Um, I put TFA next. I could see that. I It's passable. Um, the flaws don't stick out as bad until you compare it to the other lychee flavors. Um, my biggest problem with this flavor, is, as far as calling it flawed, is there's a mismatch between like what it tastes like and what it could be. Um, the floral part is too pronounced for candy, but the base tastes and feels like a combination of lychee gummies and a few peach rings thrown in for whatever reason. Like it's like candy with flowers on it versus fruit that has sort of a little bit of a floral character huh. that there's I don't know why there's I get peach gummy from it not as much as the lychee flavor but there's some peach gummy in there and it's just wrong 
to have that mixed with the floral I, line up. I wonder if that's okay, and we can talk about this in a little bit because one of the recipes I I uh, tried was pe had peach, and I really enjoy floral with peach. You really enjoy floral with peach. I think that lychee and peach is a good combination. I think that you could make yeah. a really enjoyable juice recipe out of that. I don't want it in an ingredient. Like I don't want an ingredient to have things that it shouldn't have in there or to be unbalanced where I don't know if it's trying to be a real fruit or a candy. Just like give me something I can use that's not all over the place like that. Yeah, I, I tend to personally veer toward building block flavors rather than something that's even like partway completed toward a recipe. Like I, I want to assemble it from its component parts more often than not. Um, I feel like it gives you a lot more control in your end result. Well, yeah. And if I wanted a, a lychee gummy, peach gummy floral recipe, I could put one of those together and be happy with it but I don't want my flavor to taste like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And it makes it difficult to work with because you try to make like a natural fruit out of it. Then you're going to get that candy thing in there and it's not going to taste right. And then you try to make a candy out of it, but the floral is too pronounced for candy and tastes wrong for candy. It tastes, it's kind of green, like natural, and it just doesn't fit. Like putting flowers on top of gummy candies, you just wouldn't do that. So, right? Uh, I mean, the... The amusing measure of irony there being that I've used this in my lychee gummy candy, um, but I I definitely see where it has its flaws, and it's something that I I might look to revise in the future after trying uh, six new ones for the sake yeah. of. You know what? I just pulled up that lychee gummy candy recipe of yours. Um, I don't know that you need a new lychee if you could just find something to pull down that floral. Because it's giving you that nice, chewy, sweet, gummy base. Yeah. It's doing that for you, but it's just the floral on top. And then you put cactus in there too, and maybe that's amping the floral up even more. Oh, yeah. I, that will, that's a thing that happens. So yeah. you could have ac accidentally accented the floral instead of tamping it down. Like, uh, you know, um, what's really good at bringing down florals, Emily? Um, um vanilla swirl. Like, yeah, I was just gonna say vanilla swirl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put some kind of cream in there, and not enough to make it a cream and no, make it no longer be a gummy. I think but, vanilla swirl, a little bit of vanilla swirl, actually might be actually good in that because sweet tart, you know, like candy and gummy, like yeah, you, you want a little touch of vanilla in there. I think. Anyway. If I remember, this is a recipe. This is. This is uh, Jesse's recipe, uh, Foment Life recipe. Lychee gummy candy, 1% Inaware cactus, 2% TFA lychee, 1% TFA sour, 2% TFA sweet and tart, and 1% cap sweet lychee. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't think you need to replace the lychee in there or then you're gonna have to rework that whole gummy body. Right. Yeah. I don't think you need to take out the cactus either because it's helping with that sort of mouth-watering sensation that you get with gummies. You just yeah, need to like... It might just be a balance issue where it could be tweaked just a little bit to kind of bury that just a little bit or uh, a small addition to kind of help uh, level it out. Yeah, pull the cactus down a little, bring a cream flavor in there to hopefully tamp down that floral a little bit and you might you might not need to change anything else. It's already pretty tasty, just a little too floral for a gummy candy, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's fairly representative of the, the gummy candies that I've gotten at the store, but... Um, it's got the I right can, body to it, for sure. I, I can see the, the floral being a little overdone for some people's taste, especially if somebody's a little more sensitive to floral flavors than I am. Yeah. Um, the next one I put was Capella Sweet Lychee. That's a polarizing flavor some people hate it um i don't know why they hate it i think it's a pretty good damn flavor and also probably the most versatile and what did what was the word you used for it approachable yeah yeah it's i i think it's representative enough that it it gives you an idea of what lychee can be without being overly floral or 
uh, lending itself too far in any given one direction. I think it's something that can really be worked with, but it does lead candy because it's Capella. You know, you say it leans candy, but I, I've i had that canned lychee and I swear this is what that tastes like. I don't know about a fresh one. It probably doesn't taste anything like a fresh one, but by the time you peel it and soak it in syrup and put it in a can, it, it kind of tastes like this. And it even has that that syrupy syrupy aspect to it like a like fruit canned in syrup yeah um, which one is this again the, Ca the capella yeah it's like heavy with the syrup you know like it's it's sweet did you enjoy this one or is still no i like this one um I, for a lychee it was pretty good <laughs> Or lychee, it was. Um, you know, it wasn't my favorite of the ones that I tried, but it was. It's up there, and for a lychee, like if you want to play around with something that's maybe a little bit different, maybe a little bit more floral, um, I would give this one a shot because it does have that sticky, sweet, kind of heavy body to kind of balance out that bright floralness. It's got a little funkiness to it, a little tropical funkiness, like. To, to, to pull it away from the candy just a little bit if you crank it up. I'm gonna try it at 4%. That's a lot of lychee, but it's enough to overtake a recipe, I think. But by itself, you can get all the stuff that it should have, like that little bit of funkiness, the, the sort of white grape that sort of is the heart of the thing, the rosy sort of floral up front, grapefruit-like citrus, syrupy and sweet. Oh. What, what percentage did you guys do this one at? Four. Okay, I did three. Yeah, I was I was only at two. So it sounds like it's not. It's got a nice range to it, nice forgivable range. But the lower you go, the less nuance. Maybe it's still not super nuanced though. It is pretty heavy syrup. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's what really reads candy to me is almost like that that like syrupy center if like the center of a gusher or something like that that kind of a candy not so much uh like a, a traditional candy body not gummy or like a hard candy but yeah. gusher that's a good one it's like a lychee it's gusher it's if such a thing existed that's exactly what it would be like uh robert said that jungle flavors is like candy do you guys yeah, have that? i missed that one okay. yeah i missed that one too well, if Jungle Flavors did like you, like they do anything else, they do it very similar to another more popular brand, but a little bit better. So maybe they tried to one up Capella on the syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Did uh did either of you guys try the Euro flavors? Did not. No. Okay, because I I don't find that one to be terribly different from Capella's, maybe a little bit more floral. Um, but it is, you know, fairly heavy on the sweetness, maybe not as much body. But it, it definitely reads more syrupy and uh, not fully natural. More syrupy and not fully natural, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Like the um, less like a fresh fruit, more more toward the the canned in syrup kind of. Yeah, it's definitely the fruit, but soaked yeah. in something. I mean, if you're going to have fruit, might as well soak it in syrup. Why not? <laughs> soak everything in syrup. Everything's better with syrup. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think Capella's a good one. I don't know why. I think people hate it, just don't like lychee flavors. I have to find somebody who says that they really like lychee and don't like Capella and find out why. But it's not my favorite one. My favorite one is Flavor Express. I don't have this one. I had this. Go ahead. I'm sorry, what, Jesse? No, no, go ahead. I had this lychee hard candy from Taiwan. I'm certain it was made out of Flavor Express lychee. The flavor is identical. Um, very subtle rosy floral up front. Sugary sweet base. Tastes like lychee is supposed to. White grape with a little tartness um it's a really strong sort of punchy flavor it's kind of you know even though it's got all those elements to it overall it's kind of flat like candy but it's got a strong like really punchy flavor a very bold 
full flavored. One percent is concentrated. One percent is a full vape. Um, it's it's it. I'm not sure that it actually has a hard candy body there, or if it's my mind playing tricks on me because of how, how much it tastes like that lychee candy that I had already eaten. But it's even sweeter than like Capella, just not syrupy. It's like sugar sweet. Um, it's a little drier at first in the floral in the top notes, but it's overall it's mouth watering like eating candy. I don't know. Suckers are weird because you're basically just flavoring your own spit and drinking it. But it kind of <laughs> Kind of reminds me of a, what? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a sucker, like if you had a, a, a lychee flavored sucker, what that would be like. Yeah, um, I could see that. Uh, for me, like I, I felt like it was uh, soft, but it was really present. Like it, it wasn't, it wasn't like overbearing in any way, but it was definitely a flavor that wanted to be at the forefront of whatever you're putting it in with. I'm not sure you could hide it in something. No. No, um, but it's it definitely leans toward that candy side in like a really pleasant sort of way. I don't know that you could really lean toward a, a fresh version of the fruit with it, but it's it is really good. I wish that that uh, lychee slushies, I mean uh, slurpees, were a thing. Like you could just go to Seven <laughs> Eleven and get a lychee yeah. slurpee. That would be really tasty. I think. I don't think they would sell very well. Oh, I think they would. Mm. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure if Flavor Express or Capella is the one I would try to build that with. I. I mean, the only one that might. Maybe really, both. Yeah, the only one that might really overtake that would maybe be the the real flavors in terms of just punching through with that just straight wet sweet flavor. Yeah, so this is both of y'all's favorites, and I missed out. I didn't get it, and that's a sad day for me. Yeah, so um, and this one I just got for the show, so I had just tried it, like, today. And I found it was kind of, like, in the middle of Capella Sweet Lychee with that deep kind of body syrupy stickiness. And then for Vora Lychee, it was a little bit more tart, lighter, more mellow. Um, because it was very pleasant, it was sweet, and it had some body to it, but it was a little bit lighter and a little bit more all-day vape-ish than, Cape say, Capella Sweet Lychee. And this is the Real Flavor Super Concentrate. Yeah. Yes. Did you guys try it at like 2.5% or lower? I, I just did 2. I did 1.75. 1.75? How about that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it was good. Like normally, I didn't have any high hopes for this because normally in my experience, real flavors, it doesn't have and a body. They top have heavy. a good top note like flavor, but then that's all you get, you know. But this actually had some some texture. This actually it was a little juicy, you know. It had some body to it. So real flavors makes a good juicy full body flavor, and I don't have it. Yep. But I have all those crappy ones. Outstanding. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, did I, I tell you I fell down a flight of stairs on Friday, right? This is just my luck. It's just, it's just my luck. Poor Dave. Right. Something oh. else to order. Where did you pick that one up? Does Bull City have that one? Bull City, I think, is where I got it. I'll just go put it in the basket right now. Uh, Might as well. What was it DIY? I'm not sure. Might have been Vapor Supply. I need to order something from there anyway, so. Yeah, because I knew when I was going to the States, this is funny, guys, so the DIY River Supply doesn't doesn't ship to Canada. So when I knew I was visiting family in the States, I made a, a big order of flavors. Ah, smart. No, Bull City does not have it. No, I, I grabbed mine at DIY VS. All right, that's where I got it then, yeah. And it was all, like, noted flavors that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any store credit there. I'm going to have to wait till payday. Oh, man. Oh, darn it. Had had I gotten a larger bottle, I'd just send some to you. It's, it's uh, that's all right. If it's that good, you should keep it and make some recipes out of it. Just make some recipes out of it. Get a head start on me in there. <laughs> there you go. What the hell is this? I opened up their website and the products, you know, they have the new products on the front. 
Ken and Ware's got all kinds of crazy crap. Sweet Tornado. What the hell is that? Funnel cake, I guess. But there's all kinds of weird green stuff on it. I don't know. Cake Emperor. Yeah, I, I actually really wanted to try that one. I just couldn't find enough other stuff there that I wanted to try that made it justifiable to make the purchase. I guess I'll order some Cake Emperor and see. Cake Emperor. Just... <laughs> Why do they do this kind of stuff? <sighs> All right. As long as it's better than Wonder Waffle. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I don't want to get any of this stuff. <laughs> I didn't even try Wonder Waffle. I just saw Edible Malfunctions review of it and I was like, nope. If yep. anybody can say this about that flavor, I don't want to I don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah, I, it, it it and I really like waffle flavors and I, it immediately killed any interest I had in it. Mm. It's like even if he's just bullshitting you and never even tried it, you'd be ruined just from reading that. It was yeah. traumatic. It was it was a fairly scathing review. So um, Dave, you didn't try any recipes. Um, and I had tried a couple that I thought that I would talk about since we have a little bit of time. I've tried some in the past, but none, none in, in like recent times. The re most recent one I tried was probably Jesse's um, gummy candy. So or maybe that. The lime chi, yeah. Yes, and the lime chi that's not published yet. And that, that one that the, um, South African guys made the lick my manguave. <laughs> my manguave. <laughs> yeah, they call yeah, real real mature there, right? Uh, they they um made it with uh, mango and guava and lychee. And it's the one that has the zero point two five percent flavor art in there that I was like, dude, why? So uh, the one I tried uh to the I tried two. The, the first one is called Purple Drops, and it's actually by uh, Dietz. Um, so he must really like lychee. This is the second recipe he's done with it. Um, and it's it's uh, derived from his gummy grapes recipe. He wanted to add something um, by keeping the purple grape profile, but add something more to it. Um, and so he, he added lychee. And so it's, it's like it's TFA champagne type, a half a percent. Two and a half percent anywhere grape, three percent Capella jelly candy, two percent TFA peach uh, juicy, 0.7 percent TFA sour, and then five percent Capella sweet lychee. And um, and you know, I kind of like this. It's because even though the sweet lychee um and, and juicy peach even is kind of a heavier sticky kind of syrupy sweet flavor it still ends up being both candied and light at the same time so you can definitely tell that this is a purple candy like a grape candy but i think maybe it's the champagne as well as the lychee part you know of the the sweet lychee that's just kind of lifting it up and and makes it makes it lighter and a little bit different so it's it's odd um but it's not overly floral or anything like that it's just light and maybe a, has a little bit of floral note to it where it's just but not like perfumey at all so i really enjoyed that one um i'll be va i'll be vaping the whole tester oh my you did like it yeah that's and the good pairing i think grape and lychee yeah lychee yeah. already has that grapey quality to it right. so putting the two together sounds like a great idea and you know how purple you know in where a grape is like you know there's no getting away from the fact that this is a purple candy but it's just it's like a it's like one of those fancy purple candies you know like a gourmet like you'd find in a boutique you know, like, because it has a little bit of a lighter kind of floral edge to it. Did it make you feel like a fancy girl? I did. I, in fact, I vaped it with my pinky up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the second one I tried was Peach Breeze. Um, this is by someone named Reldoff. 
and it's it's half a percent fibora lychee, uh, two percent fa peach, two percent fa white peach, and then three percent fa red summer and one percent tfa watermelon. Um, so with these two different watermelons in it, like I don't get watermelon from this mix, and I don't really get peach or lychee either. It's almost like it's a whole new fruit. And it's definitely an authentic, like real fruit. It's not candy. But that peach and lychee is a really good combination. And I'm not sure what the watermelon is doing for it, if it's adding some sweetness or if it's maybe bringing down the, the tartness a little bit of, because peach can be a little bit floral. So and it doesn't taste like, like peach? It does. How It does taste like peach. It does, you know. Okay. Um, but it's really good and really interesting. Again, if you want something different, um, and it's not overly floral. Like I, I do not like floral vapes. And this was just on the, on the line for me, you know? And um, it's sweet without being overly syrupy sweet. It's not cloying at all. Um, so you could easily, this could be an all day vape. Very tasty. You got more? No, that's it. Jesse, you want to talk about the red dragon? Um, I mean, I suppose I could. That's uh it looks really, intriguing to me. Yeah, it was uh I mean it was uh viciousness's idea. Um I just happened to have the flavors on hand when he mentioned it, and very little to do that night. So I had uh, slapped it together fairly quickly. It's still using the, the TFA and the cap sweet lychee um, as kind of the, the lychee base for it, um, in a way, a dragon fruit. And uh, both shisha strawberry and TFA strawberry ripe to kind of build out the whole thing. And, and for me, it's, it's more uh, lychee and dragon fruit kind of muddled together on the inhale and the exhale yields its way a little bit more toward that syrupy strawberry. And it, it's kind of just fun that it gets a little bit redder as it goes. I like the sound of this. Um, it's, I don't know that there's like a whole lot of flavor notes that went into it because I just kind of cribbed uh, stuff that I knew worked from other recipes and slapped it together really quick. I was just really happy with it right from the rib. So it, it because it didn't all just muddle into one thing the whole way through and that that floral kind of lychee kind of dragon fruit thing right up front gave way to all of that strawberry sweetness uh made it fairly palatable to me mm. nice i really like the idea of inaware dragon fruit and shisha strawberry together yeah i do too and this sounds really good and i don't see why lychee wouldn't be a good pairing with that yeah, because like the, the depth of shisha strawberry, I think would just complement both dragon fruit and lychee so well and just kind of bring it down to earth a little bit, you know, and just kind of tame that floralness a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it definitely loses a little bit of that uh, penchant for uh, like a pervasive flavor and yeah. kind of become something to get on the inhale and, and it does like completely tamp it out. That sounds great. And I mean, lychees aside, I feel like that one's actually a pretty attainable recipe, like something that a lot of people should already have on hand. And this uses two different lychees? Yeah, it uses uh, the TFA and the cap sweet. TFA and cap sweet, okay, gotcha. So um, Sin has been working really hard in the chat, tamping down trolls and all kinds of fun stuff. Well, thank you, Sin. Yeah, and she said that she would have to go read In Aware of Wonder Waffles, re the review. Probably the most updated flavor, most upvoted flavor review on Reddit. And <laughs> um, I thought I would just save her the trouble. This is In Aware of Wonder Waffle by Edible Malfunction that he posted um, in the DIY eJuice subreddit. Is Wonder Waffle 2% steeped? one day and then again at one month 20 percent vgpg blah 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 his testing setup c4 same thing i've been enjoying tonight um 
says, after letting this sit overnight, I couldn't stand more than two or three hits. It was nauseating. I'm not even sure how to describe the taste I got from this flavor, but I'll do my best. There was a subtle artificial chocolate note, which I was not expecting. What hit me next was this disgusting rotted bread yeasty note. I've honestly never tasted anything like it in a flavor before. It was so bad that I was gagging by the time I was done exhaling. Definitely unusable at that point. I don't think anything could help it either. One month later, surprisingly to mix this clear, I was almost certain it would have turned some shade of lovely shit brown at this point, even without the presence of nicotine, giving how terrible of a flavor it tasted. But wait, what about this taste after a month, you inquire with wondering, spelled wrong like Wonder Waffle, wondering eyes. Well, refer to everything I've already said, because that shit still applies. If Shaggy wrote a song about in a wear Wonder Waffle, he would name it Mr. Bombastic. I would rather vape one-on-one -on -one beef than have to taste this abomination again. Suggested percentages, zero. Suggested pairings, the trash can. <laughs> That's all. That's all he wrote. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, I saved you the trouble of looking that up. <laughs> Rotted bread. Somebody says he want, wants me, she said she wants me to vape that on the next charity stream. I'm not buying that. I'm not going to reward in a wear a for making that by purchasing it it's not going to happen we'll have to see if ed can send some uh your way oh geez i'm sure he'd be happy to <laughs> <laughs> just just to make that bottle sorry <laughs> how could the makers of the best waffle ever Wor yeah, yeah. make the worst that? waffle ever make the worst well no i i think that flavora is I mean, they do that. Look what they worse. did with some of their other flavors. That they've made the best of the flavor and then it reformulated and became the worst. Chocolate band aids. Yeah, exactly. Pairings the trash can. Yes, yes, exactly. So, Friction pairings the trash can. So next week is going to be another fruit that um, I have very little use for. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing grapefruit next week. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're excited for this? Yes, I love grapefruit. It's probably one of my, it's so, definitely one of my favorites. I bought um, some grapefruits for this. Well, I think maybe one or two grapefruits. So I only flavors have, or like to eat? Flavors. So oh, I, I only have three. But I'm going to try to maybe do some recipes so that, you know, I... I, at least with the three flavors I have, I get a good grasp of them. And, you know, like if I'm only going to have three flavors, then, then I should at least play around with them. Have fun. Are you going to mix grunch? You know, I might because I, yeah, I saw that couple that did that and uh, for mix and mixins and I might have to check that out. I cannot wait to try grunch. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Fomet, thank you so much for being our guest again. We really enjoyed having you, and and we will be uh, sending you the list of shows that we need guests for and having you back if, if you would have us. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's it's been awesome. a lot of fun. So Why are you making it sound like he has a choice? <laughs> and I want to th thank Th Folk Art again for being behind the scenes and uh, helping us out with the, the techie stuff. I, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to like run the show and talk at the same time. I can't multitask as, as good as I, I think I can. So <laughs> I can't even talk and talk at the same time. So <laughs> I, I, I definitely could see where that would lead to a lot of dead air trying to fix little, little issues. Mm -hmm. It's a commendable, commendable effort, even when something goes just a little bit off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I would get too like flabbergasted, you know, like if something something a technical difficulty or something went went haywire, I would freak out and get all panicky and like, yeah, I'm not good like under pressure <laughs> like that at all. Just shut the whole thing down. Start yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much, and everyone have a good night. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. All right.